everyone, good afternoon. So before I start, I would like to ask you, how many of you are frustrated because of the, uh, the red tape you have to deal with when you are just trying to remodel a part of your house? <laughs> exactly, I am too. I do understand you. That is why we are try looking forward a new way to refine the entire design process. But first we need to understand why the buildings are important. The built environment is the way we inhabit this planet and we rely on architects to design our living spaces. And we want those living spaces to be creative, functional, sustainable, and resilient. Without asking how, how a building is built, we often overlook the frustration and the hardship going to a design process and the tremendous amount of work that a person has to put on even to design a single structure. And that is why even a single structure with not, not so many specialties takes around six to 18 months to complete. And this time frame doesn't even include special requirements like environmental regulations or natural disaster resiliency. We can change this with AI, but first we need to redefine what AI in architecture means because currently it is per perceived as generating image renders. So this is what we know. But these are static images are great, but they are not enough. And they are barely the scratch of a design process. We need an AI that is precisely <coughs> developed to understand geometric systems that a building needs and responds in a way that the outcome will be a modifiable, editable 3D model. So that it will give professionals a jump start <coughs> to actually build a project with AI. So imagine we are a room of architects designing an office, build, office layout with two executive rooms. So we will go directly from text to 3D model. Okay, so now we got the base. But as you can see, I don't know any of you, but um, Personally, I have never seen an architect, a, a, an executive who wants a window in their, in their room facing interior to the open space. So that's why, hey AI, can you modify the windows for me and remove that for me? Okay, now we are getting somewhere. I kind of like the design, the layout, but there's something missing. We can add materials and make smart material choices using the AI inputs. But Choosing material, a material is a, a delicate process. We need to consider not only the materials themselves, but their, the cost that they have, the cost uh, to environment and financially. So we can leverage AI to automatically calculate the carbon emissions and so that our designs will be net zero from the get-go, which is a mandatory aspect in over 140 countries. Also, AI can maximize the daylight usage, functionality, and the distribution of the furniture. Meaning, in conclusion, once something was taking six to 12 months, we can deliver that in days using AI. But this is just a part of the process. This is when you are building stuff that are, um, that are in good conditions. But what happens when the worst of humanity comes? One day you can wake up in the midst of the dawn and hear from your home country that a devastating earthquake hit and caused millions to leave their houses and many thousands are under the rubble. This kind of situations are the places that we urgently need new constructions when we do not have the ability to wait for another 16 months to design and three years to build. And AI also can help us to become prepared for this kind of situations and also in the future even forecast and prevent these at all. So when you think of AI, today we can deliver all the 3D models, the material selections, carbon emissions, and, and the furniture layouts. But in the future we will be able to do many more, from permits and zoning to, to resiliency and the structural analysis, concluding into, as I said, natural disaster forecasting. So this is a journey that we take on. Let's redefine design. <laughs>